For you new med student, if so, you're probably thinking about step one. But with that, guys, comes the stress of what resources to use. And in this video, trust me, I've been there. I'm going to give you a resource you probably will consider wanting to use if you want a one-stop shop that's going to solve all of your problems. Let's get into it after this intro. What is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Today, I have a really interesting video because I hear these kind of comments and emails all the time, which is, what resources should I use? I'm just starting medical school and I'm having trouble balancing my classes and then worrying about step one. But then when I worry about step one, there's so many resources I could be using and just don't have the time for it. Is there something I could be using? What do you recommend? But today, guys, I have a resource for any of you guys that are wanting a one-stop shop all-inclusive resource. It's actually introduced to me by one of my students that I coached and after I checked it out, man did I wish that there was something like this when I was studying for step one. So what's that resource? Today guys we're going to be talking about Physio. Now Physio is an amazing all-inclusive resource but it's not enough if I just tell you about it. So today's video I'm actually going to take you inside the platform. You're going to see in my computer what it looks like and what it has to offer for you. And I'm also gonna be talking about kind of how I would use it if I was to go back in time and be a first year med student trying to study for step one at the same time. I'd give you recommendations on who I think it's for and then finally some parting thoughts. And at the very end of the video, I have an amazing gift for you guys, so stay tuned. But let's get into it. So first guys, let's talk about what Physio actually is. Now, as I mentioned, it's an all-inclusive resource. So for me, what that means is it needs to have the components to not only learn the material, but to review and master it. It's not advantageous for your time, especially as a first year med student, to use one resource to learn the material and then to go to another resource to like practice and review. You need something ideally that has everything in a natural flow state. Physio does that for you. You start originally from these amazing videos covering every single topic you would need as a first and a second year med student. That includes biostats, that includes biochem, microbio, anatomy. I'm gonna show you those examples in a second. But it doesn't stop just at the videos. As you're watching the videos, at the very end, you're going to be prompted with questions that are board level questions. So it's gonna be able to help you study for step one. But the best part is you just watched the videos so now you can quiz yourself and see how much you actually retained. And in addition, there are amazing things like flashcards, mnemonics and so much more so i'm going to give you guys an inside look into physio we're going to jump into my computer and kind of give you an idea of what you'd be getting if you think this resource is for you so let's get into my computer all right guys so we are officially in the physio dashboard and i want to give you an inside look on how much content and a variety of content you have so as you can see there's probably a class that you're taking right now or it will take that will be and physio to help you on your first or second year of medical school. And really I want to focus your attention on the last two, which is the biochem and microbiome. These are two of the probably the most toughest classes you'll take as a first or a second year med student. And there is just so much content to help you out on your way. And in fact, if you look at the microbiome section, there is a ridiculous amount of content that's absolutely free. It's 142 videos, 20 hours of content. They have worked insanely hard. And there are topics in this microbio section, guys, that are not found in any other popular or unpopular resources to study for step one. And these are topics that are commonly still tested on the board exam. So you still wanna make sure you know that. So to have this much content to your disposal, absolutely free, I'm quite jealous for anyone that has access to this. So let me give you an example of kind of what the videos and the rest of the features look like. Let's go into the biochem section. And when you go into it, you see again, a variety of topics are all necessary to one, do well in your class, but also to master in step one. And if you look, one of the biggest things that I look at first, especially when there's videos involved in the resources, how long are they? They're like 30, 40 minute videos. I just don't have the time, especially as a student, to partake in them. And if you can look here, majority of the videos are about 10, if not, you know, 10 ish minutes. And so that is completely doable to um, incorporate into your study system. And again, after this, I'll talk about kind of how I would use Physio. Um, but let's go into one of the first videos and I turned off my volume, but I'll give you an idea of how the videos have broken down. So you're going to have videos that are going to have a nice kind of narration and they're going to often use illustrations as well as just mnemonics to help you. And 
just kind of moving. So here we're learning about DNA replication, nice illustrations and drawings to really help make sure it clicks and it stays for the long term. But one of the, the coolest parts that I haven't seen in any other resource used in the past is at the very end, you have board level questions. So after you watch this video, majority of the resources that I've used in the past will require you to use another set of practice questions elsewhere to really see if you master that topic. But Physio kind of just incorporates it naturally into its uh, platform. So after you watch this video, you have a board level question and you can quiz yourself to see if you can answer it. But if you can't, they walk you through the most important parts in the question step. Again, it's teaching you how to study for the boards as well as answer board level questions. So it's an amazing component of Physio, which I've done really well and it's effortless um, in terms of study. Now, one of the biggest things that I love, especially as somebody of you guys know that loves flashcards, is every single lecture, a majority of them, will have an associated Anki deck. And so that means you can take your flashcards and use them on the go, watch your videos at a different time. So I took in the liberty to go ahead and just download a few to show you what they look like. And again, they're amazing. They're for a lot of the topics. So here is that DNA replication um, video that we just watched, and these are the flashcards. So you can use these after your lecture, after you watch the video to quiz yourself. Um, and again, you can use them for other topics, such as it looks like they have some anatomy going on here. And I always suck for things like the brachial plexus, so boom, right on cue. I can really use this plus the illustrations to practice and learn for anatomy, which is again, another tough class for your first year med students. So let's get back into Visio to show you other cool things that I would recommend you guys uh, check out. One of the things, especially if you have a long commute or if you like to study while working out is all the videos are converted into an audio format. So you can go ahead and have this and listen to it uh, and just kind of have it with your workout and also just download it right there. Now the last resource guys that I really want to show you that's really just puts the icing on the cake are these mnemonic sketches that have, they have spent some serious time and effort in doing this. And there are a lot of resources out there that use kind of these sketches to help you kind of memorize things where they'll associate a picture um, to a specific type of disease or element. And Physio has that built into their platform as well. So this is a video about autosomal dominant uh, diseases. And this is something I can never memorize. And to have a video on it uh, is just absolutely amazing. And not only do they have a video, but if you go back, they will go ahead and let you basically quiz yourself on whether or not you can remember the mnemonic sketches. So you can click right here and get the full complete um, sketch and then be able to click around and say, okay, do I remember, you know, I've only watched this once by the way, and so I've seen like, this is achondroplasia because it represents uh, acorns, which is awesome. This is Huntington's. And so again, I've, I've seen this probably maybe 20 seconds. Now again, things are coming uh, back to memory for me. So the beauty of it is, it's not that they have the mnemonic sketches. A lot of resources are starting to use it, but the fact that you have videos, the fact that you have practice questions, the fact that you have the mnemonic sketches and the Anki decks all thrown into one, allow you to really have one kind of complete resource to help you study for not only classes, but step one. So now guys, let's talk about how I'd recommend you use Physio. All right guys, so now that you got an inside look of what Physio looks like, let me give you an example of how I would use it to study if I was that first or second year med student studying for step one alongside the rest of the classes. Now, whenever there's a resource, especially that incorporates videos, I love using it to study for the night before for whatever my next day's lectures are. Because usually you don't have an idea of what's important. I get that question all the time. It's like, how do I know what to study for or what to focus on? Well, now you can watch physio videos and pay attention because the majority of the things that they say, if not all, is high yield. But then go to class the next day and really pay attention to what your professor says that also is kind of said in physios videos, because then that highlights like, hey, I should pay attention to this is high yield. Now that you know it's high yield, after class, I would recommend, although it's optional, to maybe watch the videos again to really solidify your learning. And then you can use the rest of the elements of physio, such as the flashcards, the mnemonics, um, the practice questions, all of those to kind of do your review. So again, that's how I'd use physio. The night before, watch the videos, go to class, watch the videos again if you have time, if not, use your afternoons and evenings to do the flashcards, um, the practice questions, and the mnemonic sketches for any videos that it has associated. 
Now, is Physio for you? Do I recommend you use a resource? Now, obviously I've spoken highly of it, but if you're a student who likes to dip their toes into a variety of different resources and use one here and then there, but not necessarily use one consistently, then Physio may not work as well as it's intended to. It really is made for the long haul and for the consistent student. So I recommend always to use minimal amounts of resources. So if you can stick to Physio for a long haul and avoid all the other distractions, then I think it's gonna do you extremely well. And that goes to point number two, which is Physio is amazing, but it's particularly amazing for a new med student or an early med student that has some time until step one, because then you can watch the videos and you can use all of their other resources to help build your foundation, um, to make sure you do well on the boards. But if you're trying to use it for studying for your dedicated, they still are adding content as we speak. So I recommend it more for the student that's going to use it for the long haul versus the student that needs it just for six weeks. So those are the two things that I definitely want you to keep in mind. But the students that I have, that I've coached, that I've used um, Physio for step one as well, the classes have done amazingly well. So I definitely want you to keep that in mind if you're considering the platform. And the last part about Physio guys that I loved, and it's probably my favorite, and that is the price. Most med school resources take a huge hit to your wallet. They're very expensive, but Physio actually does a very good job of being affordable both on a monthly as well as annual plans. So if you're interested and you want to check it out and see if it's for you, there's a link in the description. And just for you guys, they have hooked us up with a nice 15% discount. All you have to do at checkout is just use the coupon code the MD Journey, and it also helps this channel. But I told you that there would be a special gift. If you choose to go ahead and make a purchase of Physio, then just for you, I will be throwing in a free copy of Master the Boards, how to get a 250 plus on your step one. Now this is a guide that I've created with a lot of my classmates that basically will give you a nice study schedule as well as the top resources you should be using to get some of the highest scores. Again, these are made by some of the best and brightest students that I've known. They're getting 250s, 260s, and even 270s. So that guide will be thrown in with everything else just for free. If you choose to buy Physio, all you have to do is just send me an email with the receipt that you're given and I'll give you a free copy of the ebook. But once again, guys, Physio is an amazing resource, especially if you're a new med student that's studying for step one. You may have some time in between. Trust me, you're gonna wish you had some more time, but Physio is really gonna help you make sure you do the very best from your exam. Um, and again, if you're interested, I'll link in the description. If you guys have any questions about Physio, you want some follow-up videos, or just me answering your question, you know where to drop them in that comment section. Now, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you don't leave before you give it a like. Subscribe to the channel and join the community. I'm dropping at least one, if not two videos every single week, just for you guys, even though I'm in my ICU rotation right now. So give me some love, make sure you hit that like button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I've been a little help on your journey. Thank you for joining me on mine. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, my friends.